What kind of makeup do you like to to look at? I guess uncreatively really bright red lipstick and to wear just a little mascara. Do you think roast food is funny? I don't think food is funny at all, and I'm really easily grossed out by food. Especially kind of tangy, creamy foods like ranch dressing or mayonnaise. How should I kill my teacher? <laughs> um, you should light a book on fire and beat your teacher with a flaming tome. I guess it would have to be sort of a big book, though. I mean, to qualify as a tome, of course, and then also, I imagine you'd have to hit your teacher a, a bunch of times with a book for them in order for them to die, even if it's on fire. Why should you like it when people talk to you on the street? <laughs> I guess you shouldn't at all. I can't think of any reason why you should. Why do people think I am mean? Well, I would guess I'm the wrong person to ask. I mean, if you want a real answer, you should ask your priest, I suppose. Should I have a baby now or when I get out of the army? Ah. This is obnoxious because I'm not answering the question, but I guess you should have it while you're in the army. How old were you when you did something really bad? The first really bad thing that I can think of doing, I mean, that's actually bad, I mean, not just mischief, like, but actually sort of, actually cruel, I guess, would be, I was 12. How much do you weigh and how tall are you? I don't, I haven't weighed myself in a while. The last time I weighed myself, I was 160 pounds, but I've been exercising a lot. And just by looking at myself in the mirror, I seem to have lost weight. So I'm going to guess 155. And I think I'm 5'9", or thereabouts. 5 feet 9 inches. Not, f not 5 <laughs> centimeters and 9 millimeters. Who is your mom? Princess Grace of Monaco. Will you buy me a knife? <sighs> my grandpa bought me a knife. And I used to wear it on my belt all the time when I was about eight or nine. I guess if you wear it on your belt, I'll buy one, buy you one. But I, I think if you keep it in your pocket and hide it, then I think that just leads to problems. But I think if you have it out in the open, then no one will mess with you anyway, so you won't need to pull it out, I suppose. No one ever messed with me when I was eight, thankfully. But if they did, I guess I would have had to have pulled out my knife and stabbed them. And I would have been in a psychiatric ward probably still. Maybe not, though. Maybe I would have got... Oh my gosh! I'm just thinking of the blood pouring out. What part of your body do you hate the most? Probably the skin on the back of my arms and the skin on my thighs. I have folliculitis, folliculitis, so I have little bumps all over them. It's really ugly. I've had it since I was a kid. Probably that. Do you ever wear women's clothes? I can't pull it off anymore. When I was younger, I was a, a little cuter, but I think I look too mannish now. And I'm, I think I'm too vain to risk it. Uh, I think the whole point of me of wearing women's clothes initially was to sort of feel more like a woman, but I think also just to sort of experiment with feeling beautiful. But I don't really feel beautiful anymore, so... 
Not anymore. What song do you wish you wrote? In Between Days by The Cure. Why didn't you email me back when you told me you would? Because you sort of freak me out. When are you going to visit me? I think if I visit you, then I will probably risk going to jail. So I think in all honesty, I don't think I'll ever visit you. What should I do with my grandpa's dead horse? Oh. <laughs> um, Rob Fisk, who is one of my big musical heroes, uh, lives in Alaska and told me that some of the people in the township where he lived um, put a dead horse out into uh, somebody's front yard and let all of it the neighborhood dogs eat it should i give all my money to my sister so she can buy me wine i'm sort of caught between feeling paternalistic and not wanting to seem like an uptight square but i am kind of an uptight square and i do feel paternalistic so I guess I have to rebel against my gut reaction and say yes. When I die, what are you going to do with my dead body? Uh, well, I guess if the dogs are not full. <laughs> Should I encourage my friends to quit school? This falls under the paternalistic umbrella again, so I guess I have to say yes. <laughs> Do you want to die by braiding your body into the strings of my church piano? I suppose I don't have any choice but but to do exactly that. Can you see the bones inside your friend's hands and feet? Um I can see the veins. <laughs> If you were sitting in feces, would anyone love you? <laughs> Some people would love me more, but I guess the one person who I really want to have love me probably, I think, would love me enough to hose me down until I was in a state in which I was lovable again. But I suppose prior to the hose, no. Why did Penthouse move from being a hardcore porn mag to softcore? <laughs> I think it was the war in Iraq. They wanted to seem more American. <laughs> Do you have to sing to your mom to help her sleep? I really try to avoid discussing anything that I ever sing about with my mom at all times. Do you have to leave town to find love that won't hurt your feelings? I did. Can you find the spice online that will make something good to eat? That will make me something good to eat? I think you're probably capable of doing that yourself. I'm not very good at online. You already complained about my online habits anyway. Why are you asking me to do anything online? Can you use a whip to control a cat and make it run to the left and to the right? <laughs> I, have, I have found it to be true, generally. Why are you so stupid? <laughs> Why don't you talk at parties? Because I'm stupid. I don't have anything to say. I don't have anything to say. When will you when will your children walk in extreme darkness? <laughs> Probably not long after understanding who their father is. <laughs> are the only woman you are the only woman you like your mom's friends? <laughs> I don't, I don't think I know any of my mom's friends. <laughs> Is your brain irritated? If someone hits you in the head, will you die? No, if someone hits me, if someone hits me in the head, I'll just feel relieved. Do you wear black la <laughs> Do you wear black ladies church hats when you go to church? I I, <laughs> I don't wear women's clothes anymore. I'm not cute enough anymore. If I told you to stop playing with the doo-doo, would you stop? You're, 
<laughs> You're not the boss of me. <laughs> you threw a rock at a snake and it turned over in a sickening way and hissed at you and your sister. Do you feel guilty? Uh, it's a... <sighs> There's nothing specific that I feel guilty about. <laughs> Curtis Mayfield got hurt. Did you do it? <laughs> I don't have any plans to incriminate myself. Can I call you? I think that that's a terrible idea. And also sort of alluring in a just doing the wrong thing kind of way. I'm not going to give you an answer. What have you got to lose now that you know what he looks like? (laughs) (laughs) Uh... I finally have something to lose. I guess now that I know, I finally have something to lose. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) 